This is a, a very well-designed, randomized phase three, double-blind, placebo-controlled study um, that's taking the drug palbocyclib and examining it in the later line setting. So we already have seen the phase two data of the first line setting of palbocyclib added to letrozole that suggested uh, you know, a doubling, essentially, of progression-free survival, which we're awaiting the phase three data for that setting. This actually sort of leapfrogged, because um, this is now a phase three, reasonably large study of about 500 patients, um, comparing uh, fulvestrant with or without palbocyclib, given at the same dose and the same schedule as was done in the phase two study. Like the phase two study, um, this one in the later line setting, essentially it's actually more than doubled progression-free survival, which was the primary endpoint of the study. Unlike the phase two study, the patients were doing more poorly. So in fact, the control arm did not do very well with fulvestrin alone with a less than four month progression free survival that went to over nine months with the addition of, of palbocyclib. So for those patients who were clearly selected to have a poorer prognosis, this uh, brought them you know, a nice bump in progression free survival. The however, is that we don't have survival data yet. So we don't know that it augments survival. It is a more toxic drug than endocrine therapy alone. Um, it has you know, myelosuppression, particularly white blood cells, um, uh, anemia, some thrombocytopenia uh, are clearly uh, suppressed with this drug. You do see an increased infection rate with it, although not common. Um, and it also has some quality of life side effects that are, that are worse than endocrine therapy alone with nausea, headaches, um, fatigue, things like that. Uh, so it's not a free lunch. Um, the other thing, it's not free at all. It's a very, very expensive drug. So the challenges going forward for us are, you know, one, to get the survival data, you know, which is not yet ready. It's immature. Um, and, and to be honest, I think it's going to be very important for them to, to really work at finding biomarkers to help us identify which patients really would warrant treatment with this kind of drug uh, because the expense and, and the toxicity does make it much worse than endocrine therapy alone. You know, with these data and, and with the other randomized phase three in the first line setting, it's not at all, uh, you know, it's likely that palocyclib is going to become part of the armamentarium for metastatic breast cancer in combination with endocrine therapies. And this suggests that it, the nature of the endocrine therapy may, may not matter that much and the line of therapy may not matter that much. Again, that assumes that we see a survival advantage. Um, the next step after that would be incorporation and study in the adjuvant setting. Um, so I think those are the, those of course are the next hurdles.